I wonder if I make this slightly longer, if I can make the whole thing silent. That's, that's close enough to silent for me. So. Let's make a video. I'm probably gonna put this on YouTube because I think it's really cool. So let me uh, record. Okay, I'm recording. So. I set out to figure out a way to automatically farm. I only started this game about, this is my fourth day streaming this game. Uh, I started completely blind. And the thing that made me interested was all of this redstone stuff. People told me you can like automate your farms. So that's what I'm trying. Um, I haven't figured out actually how to, you know, take wheat. But one thing I did figure out is I learned from like a YouTube tutorial that these things output a little signal every time the block in front of it changes. I know that it takes four steps of wheat to grow all the way to maturity to when you want to farm it. So I've taken this block and that ding represents farm. And I haven't figured out how to farm yet, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna do for now. So, the challenge here is that I need to count to four and take no action prior to the fourth time this happens. And I'm going to use one of these, but since really this is a counting device, not a farming device, it is what it is. Um, or yeah, like I, it, it doesn't matter what's actually giving the signal as long as I give it four quick pulses of signal. So how this works, but well, I guess I'll just show it off first. So the ding represents farming. So on the fourth, so one, two, three, nothing happens. On the fourth one, we'll get a ding and that's it. And that tick is uh, the effect of a clock thing that I, I made. Uh, again, Four. We get one ding. Ding means farm. You don't need any more information than that. <laughs> um, okay, so then here's kind of how it works in the first place. So we have four items in here. This has, uh, uh, I used just four items that don't stack at all. Um, I don't fully understand exactly how the counting with the chests works, but um, pretty much when the fourth item gets into here, the, um, the output of this gets to be three. The fourth item makes it go from two to three in this, uh, like it's like a mathematic combinator or something. And then I have it set to subtract mode. Another thing I learned existed in this like YouTube video I watched, I forget the name of the guy. He's like this British guy and it's like all redstone items and uh, what they do. Um, so anyway, so this outputs a signal of 15 and it goes, mumbo jumbo, <laughs> thanks Mia. Yeah, so, so this outputs a signal of 15 uh, and it decreases by one each of these. So this is exactly 13. So you can see on the right side, power two. So this signal is two and this is subtracting. So the moment this hits three, as in there are four items in the chest, when x, x being the number of items in the chest, is greater than or equal to four, the output of this will be greater than zero because this will go to one. Um, so that's the simple part. On the fourth one, it dings the bell because this output becomes one and it just dings one time. Because I, I think it just dings when this turns on. So then from there, I um, obviously had to figure out how to take the items from this chest and then get them back to the starting point so that we can count again. Because again, it's not very useful as like an automating thing. If I have to take the four items and move them back to the beginning every time, I might as well just farm manually. So uh, 
you'll notice that it dings the one time and then eventually all of the items will reappear in here. So the way that works is with a few different pieces, but essentially I, I learned thanks to chat that this is a one-way signal that uh, converts a signal strength of one to 15 or anything greater than zero to 15. So when this outputs for a split second, this is gonna output a 15 um, power signal. And I, um, you can tell by this stick what it's set to. So I have this pulse for as long as possible. Um, maybe before I get there, actually, I should explain. Um, so, yeah, yeah, sorry, let's take a step back. So once the four items are in this chest, I want them to move back, but not before that point. If items are constantly moving back, we'll never get to the four in the chest at one time to ding the bell, right? Because one, two, three, when there's three items in the chest, the output of this is two, and two minus two being the signal from here is zero. So this is outputting power zero. You can see again on the right side, right center of the screen, right here. Um, on the fourth item and hitting that and only once, we want the, the pulse to happen and then we want all of the items to go back to here or the ding, meaning farm, to happen. Um, yeah, so the challenge for that is how do I get the items to do that? The first thing is these are always on unless they have a signal going to them. So I have this redstone torch here that is powering this, and chat told me a few days ago in like my first day streaming this that like a signal going into this will... Powering the block that the redstone torch is on will invert the redstone torch and actually shut it off. So this kind of inverts it. So when a signal is coming into here, it will invert this torch, turning this contraption off, which enables this. Because when this has no signal going into it, it's on. And when it does have a signal going into it, it's off. So when this split second happens, it will ding, and then send a signal through here. It's 15. And if we can just ignore this whole thing for now, we can just have it go directly into this block with the redstone torch, turn it off, allowing the items to finally be pulled from here based on when the signal is coming out of here. However, that pulse was not long enough and um, it could only get like two items out of the chest in time with even with this on as long of a segment as possible. So then I had to design a system to increase the length of this signal. Um, I assume this is not the optimal way to do it, but for the time being, disregard anything from this line to the right, because that's for the other thing. Um, so I guess for the sake of this, we can just do this. We're talking about just this. And this signal is 15, right? This ticks as long as possible. Um, and when this, <laughs> so, so the signal is gonna go into here, which is going to send the signal to here, which continues it along here, but then also sends it to the right, passing it down because these have a delay of um, either one, two, three, or four. You can change it like this. So, four ticks go into here it's delayed a little bit uh this signal passes it to both of these this is simply here for it to be a one-way signal same thing with these so that this signal can't skip ahead so then this signal goes to here and this is the max length right so the first one sends the maximum length to this and then similarly, each one of these sends a new signal along to lengthen the, the period of time that we turn this redstone torch off. So disregarding getting the items back to here, we can still test it like this. There should be three items in here now because I did it uh, three times. Nothing is being pulled because this is still active, keeping this off. 
the moment I do the fourth, um, and I'll, I'll try to run over here so you can see the signal kind of propagate through here. But essentially, all that this is doing is it's making it so that the signal comes off of here and then disables this torch for long enough. So let's do that real quick. Oh, right, I have to turn this off. So it, it dings, you can see the signal kind of goes through there and it like lasts a little bit longer as it passes through here. And um, you'll see, I'll, I'll take these four items one more time. Um, you can also see, you'll see how long the redstone torch turns off for. So one, two, three, four, hey Venic. Uh, one, two, three, nothing happens. On the fourth one, watch this redstone torch. It should shut off for just about the right amount of time. And uh, the items have been pulled from the chest into this dropper. The dropper is oriented upwards so that it can go into these and then send it to here, right? So that's what the other thing is doing. Um, so the first step of this is ding, pull the items out of the chest only once we have four. And then this thing we want to essentially always be on, right? We want it to tick and, and, and shoot an item up. But it requires a signal, like the start of a signal to work. So by pure chance, I kind of figured out that you can infinitely make one of these things tick um, with a signal like so. You can see that this is ticking constantly. And that works. Um, so this is like subtraction, right? Over here. But this is not on subtraction mode here. So when it's not in subtraction mode, rather than outputting this power minus this power, it just only outputs if the input on the back is greater than the input on the right, right? So what happened to the music there? Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> so the reason this works is um, this is going to put an input of 11. You can see the power 11. That input oops, goes into here, which turns this on. We get a tick at a minor delay here because the output is, you know, it, it's outputting because this is greater than this, which is obviously off at the time. And you can see like this will just stay on in this case. But then this signal goes to here to make this shoot, but then goes back to the side. And the reason that's relevant is this outputs 15 because it's a repeater, right? So it's either 15 or zero. So 15, 14, 13, 12 goes into the side. 12 is greater than the constant 11. So when there is 12 here, it turns this off. And when this turns off, it stops outputting and then that turns this off, so it stops getting the signal, and this constant signal then becomes greater than the signal in the side. So it constantly ticks, and you can see that it's always doing this. So, whoops. Uh, so this was kind of the intermediate stage we got to without all of this. Um, so one, two, three. Three items in there still one in here, nothing happens. It's not pulling out of the chest yet. We do the fourth one, it's gonna ding. And then this is gonna shut off long enough to pull the four items out of the chest and then put them into here. This constantly ticks. So it sends these items up into this, uh, uh, what's it called, hopper? Yeah, up into this hopper, which passes it into this one, passes it into this one. These are just always on and then loads it back into here. However, the ticking noise is really annoying. So I, uh, um, in a similar fashion to uh, over here, I need to extend this, but it needed to be extended a little bit further than it is over here because this action has to happen after that action. That action being this dropper turns back on so then um, I, I did the exact same thing that you saw on this side to extend the signal. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's correct. And then we want just a really long one here. So it will just like, it'll pulse when it gets here and then it'll pulse when it gets here and it'll just continually do that. So the signal will kind of be lengthened. So when we get our output here, as in the number of items in the chest hits four, excuse me, um, the output becomes three, that's greater than two, and we get an output here. And this output is what turns off the signal over there to uh, turn this hopper back on. And then the same signal is used to tick over here temporarily. So let's see that work now. Uh, one, two, three, nothing happens. Or you'll see this signal kind of propagate through here and it's like lengthened a little bit. There you go. And the items should be back in here. Yeah. And let's let's do it one more time watching the clock. And it doesn't make a ticking sound if they're like it doesn't make a ticking sound if it's sending an item, I think. So that's how that works. All right. Uh, anyway, I think that's it. <laughs> nice, quick little video. Um, this is the first time I've tried to use redstone for anything like real, I guess. Um, and counting was certainly a challenge, but I really enjoyed it. So uh, up next is going to be figure out how to go from ding to uh, to actually farming. Uh, I have no idea how that's gonna work. We'll figure that out. Uh, one, two, three, four. We got our ding. Signals go through. Items are back in here. Um, and I, I guess I'll show you real quick. Uh, with the actual observer how i how this works because it should still work with an observer but i haven't actually done it with an observer oh uh uh is that the right direction yeah okay so now when it observes four changes in the ground in front of it uh it will each change gives a pulse so one two, three, four. And the, the same thing happens.